Okay, welcome back to Hills Farm 876. Um, today I'll be doing a video basically about um, somebody actually um, sent me a WhatsApp message and asked um, how is it that I structure um, my business. Mind you, I don't have a perfect formula for the business structure, but um, how is it that I structure my business? It do work. Um, the other question that they asked was... Um, how is it that I, you know, curtail my feeding process and whatnot? All right. Um, I choose to do this video now. This is as real as it gets. I have the goats out in the field. And um, we just actually take a break with my bottle of water. And my sandwich, of course. I see my start eating the sandwich already. Hungry. Mm -hmm. So forgive me for eat and talk, but this is as real as it gets in farming. Okay, um, now the business structure is basically simple, you know. Um, as I normally said before, remember that my both my parents are farmers, right? Um, livestock as well as ground provision, but I tend to stick to the livestock um, aspect of it. Okay, so um, the business structure came from, and I'm just doing all of this from the top of my head. So the business structure came from... My mother, my father, um, raising chicken, pigs, planting, you know, yam, banana, uh, planting, cabbage, um, pumpkin, what else, uh, okra. They plant just about everything, you know, melon, cucumber, you name it. All right. Um, so I, 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 I grew up on you know, in a, a from a farming background, a kind of farming lifestyle. Um, so the business structure for me now came from that. Now I used to, you know, hear you know, conversation between my mother and my father. You know, this person oh, and this person oh so long and whatnot and okay, them go to the person and they give them X amount of um, produce. And then when they're expecting to get the money all at once, they end up um, getting the money in three pieces, you know, probably two halves, whatnot, the whole nine yards. I don't know that, but that tend for mash up money. All right. So in, you know, hearing that um, coming up in the business, my father, you know, handed over the task to me of actually selling meat. All right. Because at, before I started selling, what I used to do was just deliver. I deliver to his customers and things. Um, in, I'm going to go to last for the mother. Now, in doing all of that delivering, from time to time I'll get the opportunity to, to actually, you know, collect the funds. Uh, when sent to collect the funds now, you know where you go. Man say, okay, tell your old man, say, um, I'll fight this, we call him. However, it was no place of mine to, you know, even question, you know, how come a half and really because that wasn't my job. I was just supposed to deliver and from time to time I collected. So, you know, hearing about, you know, the, the you know the lack of payment from some persons when they're expecting um full payment. When I started now in the business, taking over the payment aspect of it, delivering, doing the receipts, also um going to collect the funds, I realized that I had the same problem. So what I started doing is, you know, talking to my customers, letting them know that, listen, we need to get paid on time. I have other persons that I need to pay. I have to pay the feed the man. Hold on, give me a second. Go run them water. Yeah, cool. As real as it gets again. Um, so I talk to the customers. You know, I tell them point blank. So listen, I have other people for paying them. I have to pay the feed them on and whatnot. Ray, ray, ray. And of course, you have you know bills and whatever to deal with. And um, when I explain that to some persons, you know, get down on the level and show them. So listen, man, you have to do better. Some persons, it it it, it tends to you know work with um some other persons it, it falls through the crack 
right? So, with the persons where it falls through the crack, no, well, business is a business. So, if it is that, it's up to me as a supplier to stop supplying them because they are not, you know, handling the business in the best way um, or it ought to. Um, but I didn't take that approach. What I started doing now was cutting the amount that I gave to them. And that strategy really worked. So if a man who say, he want um, a thousand pound of chicken. And I give him a thousand pound and he pay me, you know, in two halves, right? Um, what I did now was, you know, explain to them and talk to them. So listen, can I give you a thousand pound, you know? I can give you a 500 because I see that's, that's where you are at. That's the level that you're operating from. So I give you a 500. Whenever it is that you need another 500, I come and I pick up payment, which I normally give two weeks credit. Right? I come and I pick up payment on that two weeks, and then I will drop off actually on the day or after the payment. If you give me your word that, okay, when I come, I'm going to be getting paid, fine. I'll take the producer along with me. If I don't really believe in your word, we come collect my money and then we deliver probably a day or two afterwards. Um and 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 that tends, you know, to to work. Um also in approaching other um customers or prospective customers rather. Um it's always good to have your day to day farm, you know, farming activity catalog on your phone whether it be you know take pictures of your animal take videos of your animal take pictures of your produce take pictures of yourself in other farm you know that's that's where you get the authenticity from it you know that tend to be authentic when a man can see it a man can say yeah you can actually see say yeah do the work where you know you are talk about now persons like to see that because when you go to somebody and say yo my chicken them nice and clean and pretty man and very 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 them not gonna just take your word for it. They want to see a chicken and then they just want to see some chicken spread out and say, yeah, nice, clean and pretty chicken. You have to be in that catalog. So you have to be in the picture, you have to be in the video. You get what I'm saying? So that way, you know, people can say, okay, you know, your surrounding is, is, is presentable and you have proper water supply, whatnot, whatnot. That is what works. You get me? Because if, if, if you go to a restaurant for go buy some food, for argument's sake. And the restaurant there, right beside one garbage jeep. Come on, man. Fox. You're not going to buy this. So. You get what I say? So people tend to buy with them eyes, you know? People buy with them eyes. Even though the thing gone online now, the same, the same thing applies. Take picture of your produce, post them online so people can see. When a man click on your page and a man run through and a man look, and I say, oh, yeah, man. As some good, you know, produce this, them are put forward, good livestock, good whatever. You get me, because people buy with them eyes, just like when people go online and shop, them are shop on Amazon. Them can turn around the product and look upon it from all angles. The same thing go with farming, right? Um, one of the other things too, if it is that your place is not, you know, your farm is not properly secured, don't post everything for online. Uh, some of them boys, they, they have teeth out of the road, but they have teeth online, too, you know. Them just scout out your thing and see where you're going with. And then them can move in on it. So don't, one second again. As I say, I have the animals out in the field, so every time they try to cross the border, I have to send them back over. Yeah, um, so as I was saying, don't post certain things online if it is that you know that, you know, your property is, is, is vulnerable to um, predial larceny. Um, that had a thief then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so while posting, you have to have a balance. You get me? You don't want to do a video where you yeah, walk through your whole house and the whole setup for your man can just watch it and know say, okay, yeah man, when I go down there, so I take the right and I end up over the full coop. 
when we go down look more and we take the left end up over the pig oh and the, the goat them up at top mm -mm. you don't want to make it be that structured for them you get what i say so certain things you tend to you know edit out um totally and um, yeah so that's basic the, the, the basic rough you know sketch of the um of the the the, the business the business format um I still tend to have arguments and uh, get into arguments with um, some customers because, yo, it's like on the natural. Like, I believe that you deal the thing respectfully. If you know somebody I come collect some money today and payment is due today, though, make me forward for the payment and then, yeah, well, give me a story. I normally call ahead before I go pick up any payment. Give me the story over the phone. Uh, it's a bad situation whereby. You know, I call ahead. The payment is ready. All right, cool, no problem. I know this particular person normally gives me a check. So I have to be there on time and then go to the bank. And um, getting there on time, this person said, Oh, you know that I'm going to give you two payments. One you collect today and the next one you collect the next four days time or whatever. We never bargain for that. So I have to get out. If it is, that's what you were going to, you know, Offer to me, me, me know from the from the, from the phone, you know, and and it, it 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 tends to be better when you are direct, um, with your customers, and it tends to be better when your your you know customers are direct with you, the the, the, the supplier. Just put it out there because especially the COVID nineteen thing, you now we understand um the pressure, the pinch, where everybody I feel. You get me? So at the end of the day, just let's talk about it. You get me? If 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 you have an option and you put it on the board, several options, and me not feel like we choose none of them. But to me, me not feel like we choose. All right. Um, another part of the business is the face value of the business within within um you know the human structure, who you put out there as 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 um an ambassador, somebody will talk for your business. All right. Now, as you can see, how is it that I am? You know. I'm not really groom now and whatnot. Um, this is because I'm not interacting with a lot of customers at this time. Alright? Um, I have somebody else um, doing that at this time now. So I can tend to be, you know, you know scruffy and whatnot. Um, if it wasn't like that and I didn't have help, I would be, you know, properly groomed and all of that. Because, you know, I'm going out there, you know, you're the face of the business. That's one of the things that you need to take in consideration as well um try to get your business name under one umbrella try to you know get your shirts get your apparel get your hats you know um you're supposed to have some form of memorabilia whereby you know a little cup a little this a little that where you can actually give to your customers a pen someone can have a pen and look for it and say oh i got this from hills farm 876 you know um a teacup Look at stuff that you give back to your customers, right? Like, um, for me, mainly, some of the time we just cut a bunch of banana and, you know, just cut it up in some hand hand and, and just go around and drop off that to my customer with some yam or some this and say, oh, no, man, take home this, man. This is for the house. What's that? Everybody need um, um, gifts and some form of incentives. Okay, so go to my governor. Okay, you see them now. Okay, I'm like all of them pass already. Yeah. Yeah, as I said, everybody need you know some form of incentives. I'll fix this camera a bit. Yeah. Some form of incentive and stuff, so why not? They are your customers, you know, treat them good. You treat them good, them treat you good. So by the time you treat them good. Some of them not treat you good. So, um, people, that's it. Please remember, yeah, you can see the goat in my past now, but you know what I say, yeah. Please remember to like, share, you know, subscribe. This is just a, off the top of my head um, business structure as it pertains to my business. I do have a personalized receipt book, um, and I am a part of the whole RADA. I have um, RADA receipt books where by selling animals, you give them an authentic RADA receipt description and all of that from the animal. I think everybody should 
sorry, should go out and actually get one of those. Um, yeah. So that's that's basically it in a nutshell. You know, talking about the the rough sketch of the business structure. So um, I do hope somebody might take you know something from this video. As I normally say in all my videos, I'm not a pro at this. Most of this is on a trial and error. Um, trial and error from my you know, parents side, those before me, and also trial and error on my own part. So, not perfect. We just have to do it day in, day out. Alright? No respect. So please remember, like, comment, share. Um, next door now, I'm actually on my neighbor's you know, farm. Yeah, because I had my goats feeding on their property. And of course, people don't know. Yeah, I'm a two second then, they never left me. So, peace out, people. Like, comment, share, subscribe. If you don't hit the notification bell, remember, you know, you know, I get the thing them when they upload. Yeah, I go to them after. So, alright? Give thanks to people. Much respect.